Now that you've That's retrieved it. the Just Elder the scroll, scroll, you should be Come on, on your way. Let's take it to Dex. If there's anything I can do before you depart, you must let me know. If there's anything I can do before you depart, you must let me know. So my daughter applied some of the lessons I taught her about necromancy, did she? Don't worry. I think I can help you. Your soul essence was trapped inside a gem. When you and Serana entered the soul camp, it was given to the ideal masters as payment. You simply need to retrieve the gem. The moment you touch it, your soul essence will be restored. There's an offering altar not terribly far from here. I'm willing to bet that the gem you're looking for is there. Is there anything else? Could be your last chance. I have no choice. As I told you before, I'm a daughter of Cold Harbor. If I return to Tamriel, that increases Harkon's likelihood of bringing the tyranny of the sun to fruition. As much as it pains me to send you and Serana back alone, I can't take the risk. Remember that Harkon is not to be trusted. No matter what he promises, he'll deceive you in order to get what he wants. And promise me you'll keep my daughter safe. She's the only thing of value I have left. Alrighty. I wish you could come with us. Did you have anything to ask before you depart? As you've been traveling in the Soul Cairn, your body has become attuned to it. Let's just say a tiny part of you rubbed off on it, and in its place, a bit of the Soul Cairn filled the void. You should find no difficulty using the portal any longer. So I'll be able to come back. Cool. Jump. Ooh. That was good timing. Do it, Via. How you doing? Stay your weapons. I would speak with you, Quanarin. Cursed, not dead. Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between Laas and Enoch. Between life and death. The hostility was necessary. I was bound to an oath. I believe in civility among seasoned warriors, and I find your ear worthy of my words. My claws have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes, but I have never once been felled on the field of battle. I therefore honor name you Quanarin, or Vanquisher in your tongue. Your words do me great honor. My desire to speak with you was born from the result of our battle, Quanarin. I merely wish to respectfully ask a favor of you. For countless years I've roamed the Soul Cairn in unintended service to the ideal masters. Before this, I roamed the skies above Tamriel. I desire to return there. I fear that my time here has taken its toll upon me. I share a bond with this dreaded place. If I ventured far from the Soul Cairn, my strength would begin to wane until I was no more. 
I will place my name with you and grant you the right to call my name from Tamriel. Do me this simple honor, and I will fight at your side as your Graze Mazen, your ally, and teach you my food. Trivial in your mind, perhaps. For me, it would mean a great deal. I don't require an answer, Quinarin. Simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the time is right. Alright then. Now, unlike the call dragon shout we got to the main storyline, we actually have to learn this one. So, I'm gonna learn it. And I might as well teach, learn this one as well. Fun little side note. Over, over here. Over, over. Hmm. Nope. Over here. Is a bro broken word wall. Um, when you return to the Soul Cairn, you'll actually find Dunavir. Um, perched on here. <laughs> and you can talk to him, I guess. I'm not sure. Um, I believe this broken word wall held the uh, soul terror thune or shout. <laughs> um, it's the a bit, the shout that he teaches you when you uh, summon him three times in the on Tamriel. Let's get our back out here. Cause I like him. Kind of glad I got him. Hey, buddy. Oh. Okay, here we go. First, we're gonna get my soul back, so. Sorry, had to sneeze. I love riding on Arvac, it's fun. It's such a unique, des uh, uniquely designed horse, in my opinion. Now, I remember uh, during the times I played Skyrim for the PC, which I don't play it anymore. Uh, there was too many compatibility issues with my PC in the game. But, I remember there's a DLC, or not DLC, a mod that changes Arvac's uh, color to be red. So it looks more like he's a demonic horse instead of a uh, skeletal undead horse. I remember getting the soul gem, but... Guess we're able to leave. So, interesting. I thought we needed the uh, soul gem that uh, Velika Vikara. I had no clue how that name. I don't know. As far as mother mentioned that we need a soul gem, but apparently we don't. Bizarre, but okay. Fix that. I'm assuming if you chose the vampire route, um, when you get back, they'll yell at you and probably try to kill you until you get rid of the curse. <laughs> Again, that's an assumption. I don't know.
They seem rather trusting of, uh... Serana. I do know that if Serana survives this uh, quest arc, or quest line, I'll probably uh, get rid of my previous save file and use this one. Because there's a lot more uh, bonuses I can get for this right now. Plus I have pretty much everything I needed from the, my original one. We shall see. <laughs> I trust your journey was successful? I'm sorry, my friend. I can no longer be of use in this matter. It's my fault. In my haste to read the first scroll, I neglected the careful preparation required. I thought I'd be able to allay the after effects, but I was wrong. Now I am paying for it. Blind? Yes, I'm afraid so. No, it will have to run its course. And there's always the chance I may never recover. No, there is another way. The question is, how much are you willing to risk to find Oriole's bow? I can't guarantee you'd be free from harm. Becoming blind could be the least of your worries. Scattered across Tamriel are secluded locations known only as Ancestor Glades. There's one in Skyrim in the Pine Forest. Performing the ritual of the Ancestor Moth within the Glade should provide the answers you seek. It involves carefully removing the bark from a canticle tree, which will in turn attract Ancestor Moths to you. Once enough of the Moths are following, they'll provide you with the second sight needed to decipher the scrolls. In keeping with tradition, you must use a specific tool in the Ancestor Glade, an implement known as a draw knife. Every moth priest is taught this ritual, but few ever get the chance to perform it. You should consider yourself fortunate if it works for you. From what I saw in the vision, the Elder Scroll which foreshadows the defiance of the gods with the blood of mortals is the key to the prophecy. All right then. Good luck. I hope you find the answers you seek. Hmm. Let's take a quick run around the castle, see what we can find. I want to get rid of some uh, stuff I'm carrying. You. This is fine for now, but keep yourself armed and protected as best you can. Well, keep the, especially this. If I can get the vampire uh, trick unlocked that I'm thinking of, I'll be able to use it for something. <laughs> Nothing worthwhile. I brave you, friend. She's not here, there are the trolls. There she is. Hope you're getting along with Isran. I like what Isran has done with them. I'll buy whatever you're looking to get rid of. Nothing worthwhile. Don't get yourself killed. No promises. Oop. I've helped you all that I can. The rest is up to you. That was a lag bubble. And there's another one. Since I'm getting lag, I'm going to save just to be precautious.
Alright, accept. Oh, there it is. It's been a while, so... Excuse me. Oh, Alright, I'm gonna go this way. You can go around if you want. But I don't like doing that type of stuff. As I'm sure my uh, more dedicated followers to this game no I don't like taking the uh, roads unless it's absolutely necessary And here we are. Oop. I'm not sure how much of these were actually in the original uh, vanilla version. I'm fairly certain this was just a cutoff, uh, where there was a mountain sticking out of here. So this place, this uh, doorway, was added in for the uh, for the uh, game. But again, I'm not sure. So. Friend Dexian and I are gonna have some words when we get back. Don't worry, so will I. Then once I've been here during the day. This is the first time I've actually been here during the day. Yo. Look at. Wow. Look at this place. No one's been here in centuries. I doubt there's any other place like it in Skyrim. It's beautiful. Drop. Okay. Luckily the knife is just floating in this uh, circle. So. Alright, let's draw some uh, bark. They're a lot all over the place. Hope the moth like that bark as much as Dexian said they would. Yeah, there are a lot of trees all over the place, so. Now to gather the moths, just walk through them. To you. Oh, she's falling in love with me. In case you haven't noticed, there actually is light starting to surround me. One more set of moths. Oh, there we are. That hurt. I says to read the scroll of blood. I'm gonna try reading the uh, scroll of sun first. I'm curious. Although we already know what's on the other two scro Elder Scrolls, I'm kind of curious what happens when I open them. I didn't do it during the LP, so or the vampire run through.
Alright, so Blood's the one we need to read. Let's check out Sun first. Nothing. That was the one Serana had. Let's check out Dragon. The one from the main story. Nothing again. Yo. And let's do blood now. Nervous? Those familiar with Tamriel's uh, landmarks will find this uh, color light very uh, interesting. I know exactly where all that is. Are you okay? Almost thought I lost you there. You went as white as the snow. I never trusted those damn scrolls. Who knows what those things could have done to you? Just look at Dexian. What about Ariel's bow? Do you know where we can find it? Then it's almost over. We can finally put an end to this ridiculous prophecy. Where is this Darkfall cave? Then let's get going. I want to get there before my father has a chance to track us down. Alrighty then. Excuse me. Ah, gargoyle. What am I doing? There's a ro there's a path over here. All right, let's go. Let's see here. I need to heal. Master vampire, huh? Take the rope. No, 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 Almost died. Man, they really uh, tore this place a new one. I wonder, can I get more bark by uh, carving up another tree? No. Oh well. I'll see a real point for it, so. All the way up here. I've actually already marked it. 
No, I haven't. Huh. That's not a uh, glitch, by the way. There actually is a point where we'll see one of these guys frozen, so... And since we're going to the north of Skyrim, already a frozen wasteland, kind of expect that. Got him. Now where are you gonna land? Where'd you come from? Come on. Oh, inside. Sorry, orcs. Says you won't let me in. I can't help. And here we go. As far as I can tell, by the way, Serana is an is an immortal character, so she can't die. Obviously. So don't worry too much about um, uh, her dying too much. Can't see Jack. Oh yeah, a spider up there. Bring a pickaxe. Pick bring a pickaxe with you, by the way. If you don't have one, just go over here. And out I go. No, Serrano's. Sorry, Serrano. Alright, um, Illusion. Mm, nope. Alteration? Alright. I kind of wish I was a Khajiit right now, so I could actually use a, a Night Eye ability so I could see. Oh well, though. It's hard for me to see. Um, when I came through your ad night, I turned on like all the time, so I can't. I could see what the fuck I was doing. Ah, that'll do nicely. I don't necessarily remember this path. Sounds like you're tripping over rocks or something. Alright, now, now I know where I'm at.
It's been a long time since I've actually had, ever actually had to use a torch. There it is. You could just swim, by the way, to where we need to go. Serana, stop resurrecting shit. Come forward. You have nothing to fear here. I am Knight Paladin Gellibor. Welcome to the Great Chantry of Oriel. Oriel, Oriel, Alkosh, Akatosh, so many different names for the Sovereign of the Snow Elves. I prefer Snow Elf. The name Falmer usually holds a negative meaning to most travelers. Those twisted creatures you call Falmer, I call the Betrayed. Of course, you're here for Oriel's bow. Why else would you be here? I can help you get it, but first, I must have your assistance. I need you to kill Archcurate Vertha, my brother. The kinship between us is gone. I don't understand what he's become, but he's no longer the brother I once knew. It was the Betrayed. They did something to him. I just don't know why Oriel would allow this to happen. They swept into the Chantry without warning, and began killing everyone without pause. The Chantry was a place of peaceful worship. I led a small group of paladins, but we were no match for the Betrayed's sheer numbers. They slaughtered everyone, and stormed the inner sanctum where I believe they corrupted Vertha. He's alive. I've seen him, but something's wrong. He never looks as though he's in pain or under duress. He just stands there and watches, as though waiting. Leaving the Way Shrines unguarded would be violating my sacred duty as a Knight Paladin of Oriel, and an assault on the Betrayed guarding the Inner Sanctum would only end with my death. Yes, let me show you. Just so you know, the reason why I went to my menu and got the torch out, or turned off the torch, is just so you guys could actually see him. No idea why he did that. This structure is known as a Way Shrine. They were used for meditation and for transport when the Chantry was a place of enlightenment. Prelates of these shrines were charged with teaching the mantras of Oriel to our initiates. What's that basin in the center signify? Once the initiate completed his mantras, he'd dip a ceremonial ewer in the basin of the Way Shrine's center and proceed to the next Way Shrine. So these initiates had to lug around a heavy pitcher of water. Marvelous. How long would they have to do that? Well, once the Initiate's enlightenment was complete, he'd bring the Ewer to the Chantry's inner sanctum. Pouring the contents of the Ewer into the sacred basin of the sanctum would allow him to enter for an audience with the Archcurate himself. All that just to end up dumping it out? It makes no sense to me. It's symbolic. I don't expect you to understand. So, let's get this straight. We need to do all that nonsense to get into the temple so we can kill your brother and play Mario's bow. I know how it all sounds. But if there was another way, I'd have done it long ago. The only way to get to my brother is by following in the Initiate's footsteps and traveling from Way Shrine to Way Shrine, just as they did. The first lay at the end of Darkfall Passage, a cavern that represents the absence of enlightenment. There are five in total, spread far apart across the Chantry. Caves? Oh no! The Chantry encompasses far more than a few caves, as you'll soon discover. But before I send you on your way, you'll need the Initiate's Ewer. 
Once you've located a way shrine, there'll be a spectral prelate tending to it. They will allow you to draw the waters from the shrine's basin, as if you've been enlightened. This may be the last time we're able to converse. If you have any questions before you leave, I suggest you ask them. Otherwise, all I can do now is grant you my hopes for a safe journey. Alright then. Let's save before we go through there, because last time I tried to, the game froze. Come on, there we go. It's really that late, isn't it? <laughs> Look at the time on the thing. It's like it's midnight here, so I'm tired. But we're so close to finishing it, so I'll muster through it. New enemies, plus you know, older ones. Where'd you come from? I'm just gonna rush through this, so no sneaking. So this is technically my third time through this area, so... If you fall off the edge, you'll go down a uh, tunnel and come out over that way. Poisoned or something. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention this for uh, <laughs> for the uh, players who didn't watch the vampire playthrough, the Falmer have new armor. No, no, that's heavy and hardened uh, Vomer armor. You'll find them on those uh, enemies right there. Heavy armor by looks of it. Look kind of wicked too.
Oh, those guys, right. Alrighty then. Another? Oh, come on. So disorienting. Okay then. That was a close call. This um, does an overkill trap, by the way. Bill Sabercat. And woo. Just killed myself there. <laughs> There's a veil deer down here as well. They are unique creatures to uh, the area we're going to soon. <laughs> yeah, there's a veil deer right there. Went off to, I don't know, do deer things. Whatever the hell that is. Bill Deers. I have no clue what these uh, hides do outside of uh, leather. They may give you more leather. Leather, I don't know. Also, these things are um, traps, basically. They explode and poison you. But if you're quick enough, you can actually harvest them before they do it. Welcome, Initiate. Then behold Ariel's gift, my child. May it light your path as you seek tranquility within the inner sanctum. Yeah, 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 just open it. And save for going in, because this is actually the time where it froze when I try to go through this gate. <laughs> I'm actually going to go through the... Stop right now and uh, take a break, because I am dead tired, as you saw. It's uh, past midnight now, so... Um, I'll pick this up in the morning. Uh, the set isn't over. <laughs> um, I'll see you guys in a few seconds for you. I'll see you for me in a few hours. <laughs> see you in a minute.